just want to say thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate having you here. It means a lot to me. And it is so helpful for you to like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can continue doing these videos and it lets me know if you like this content or not and kind of gives me a direction to go in. So definitely like and subscribe and I will see you in a few minutes. lunchtime I have to feed myself something I have no idea what to eat I fed the kids already they got um, those little like taco shells rolled up with cheese in them and some fruit cups and we're running low on groceries so I think that I might have a can of soup sounds good right Now we are about to leave to go take my middle child to preschool. So we'll do that really quick and I'll be right back. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Um, the baby, the baby, I keep calling him the baby, but he's not really a baby anymore. Um, my youngest is napping right now, so I have to be quiet, but I can finally sit down and record that tutorial for you. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So I chose this image that has a big open space here. It's a very cute angle, but it's hard to get without an assistant there to pull that blanket out while you're shooting because this is like the front of the table here. Today we're going to be using content aware fill. And the way I do this is when I have an image like this that has a clear big open spot, I don't do a layer mask, I just stay on the background. I grab my lasso tool and then I come in here and select that whole spot that needs filled in. And then what I do is I hit on my keyboard, I hit the delete button. It's going to bring up this window that says fill when you hit delete. Uh, when you're on the background, you have a selection and you hit delete. It comes up with this window that says fill. You want it to say content aware and then hit OK. And it's going to think for a minute. And then when it's done, you can just click on the screen once to deselect that section. And then all of a sudden, you have a beautifully filled in corner. It's as easy as that. You literally don't have to do anything else. That looks good. We're done. And then really quick, I'll just show you in Lightroom. This was the original that I just pulled up and we just fixed. And then after all of my editing and such, this is the final image. And I love this. I love how easy it is to fill in that corner. The only advice that I have is to watch like the top of heads and hands or faces. Make sure that everything is on the background because 
if this edge were to be like here, then we would have to do some really complicated masking around the top of the baby's head and hair. And that just gets a lot more tricky. So when you are shooting these images, make sure that you at least have that little bit here to cover around your whole subject. So you don't have to do any crazy masking. There you go. Super easy content aware fill. There's several other ways that you can fill in that section there. A lot of people use the patch tool. You can just paint it in with a solid soft brush. Some people like select, they'll select a section and then like use the transform tool to stretch it out. Um, you can do whatever you want, but that is the easiest way that I've ever found to do this is to lasso the section and do content aware fill. Another shortcut you can use instead of delete if you do want to work on a new layer. Okay, so let's say you prefer to work on a new layer. So we're going to hit Control J to open up a new layer. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to lasso this area. And then you can hit Shift F5. You can't hit Delete because when you hit Delete on a layer that is not the background, it will literally delete that section of the layer <laughs> instead of bringing up your fill tool. So Shift F5 also brings up the same fill window, or you can also go up to Edit and then Fill. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video.